proposing the motion 24 uh, in the name of the Wexford Constituency Council. Gramagat uh, I have pleasure in moving motion 24 uh, in the name of my own constituency council. Delegates, we know full well that we are in the midst of an economic crisis of unprecedented proportions. Yet the origins of this crisis are political too. Our political culture has facilitated instability in our economy. The voluminous reports from Mann and Moriarty give the truth to that fact. Lest it be forgotten, Labour emerges from both of these comprehensive reports with a complete bill of health. <laughs> unlike others, unlike others, when a problem emerged, we dealt with it immediately. Long before others, we campaigned to introduce transparency into Irish politics. The original Ethics in Public Offices Act and the Electoral Acts of the 1990s, which introduced declarations of interests and donations and set spending limits on elections, both have their origins in the Labour Party election manifesto of 1992. So too does the freedom of information legislation. Our drive as a reforming party is without parallel in Irish political life. The liberalisation of our constitution in relation to remarriage, for example, has its origins in Labour's campaigning. We've been to the forefront in reaffirming the rights of women and the rights of gay people. Now the opportunity arises yet again to recast Irish politi political life. I've been given the great honour of being presented with the role not just as Minister for Public Expenditure, but also as Minister for Reform. Following my appointment, I established a dedicated unit within my department to progress, to drive the reform agenda set out in the programme for government. And we are making great progress. A consultation on the registration of lobbyists, essential following the publication of the Mann Report, has uh, garnered more than 50 submissions. This is a complex issue. Lobbying is something we all do. It's undertaken by each of us as individuals, business groups, trade unions and professional lobbyists. We don't want to make lobbying illegal, but we will make it transparent and amenable to appropriate oversight, <laughs> rules and codes of conduct. <laughs> Affording protection to those courageous enough to speak out on public issues, to speak out against corruption, has long been a priority of this party. Our first private member's bill on whistleblowing was published by Pat Rabbit as long ago as 1999. Despite kind words, Fianna Fáil refused to progress that issue. I wonder why. It falls to Labour, to us, to act, the, the necessity for which has been reinforced again by the recommendations in Ban. We have published draft heads of the bill and in line with the government's consultative practice have referred the draft heads to Alex's committee for discussion and debate and I am due to meet with the committee next week. I intend to have the comprehensive bill before the Dáil this year. We have made progress too on the freedom of information legislation. Our aim and objective is to restore the powers of the 1997 bill brought in by Ethel Fitzgerald, which was, which was emasculated by Fianna Fáil in 2002, and to go further, to widen its remit. My department is reviewing the detailed recommendations uh, contained in the Mahan report to formulate proposals for those recommendations that fall to me. I am satisfied, and I tell conference this, that we will require a root and branch reworking of the existing ethics legislation. And in consultation with my government colleagues, I'm considering how that can best be done. It has taken Fianna Fáil uh, 14 years to destroy our economy and undermine politics. It will take us more than 14 months to put things right. We've made a good start. And in the years ahead, it is the firm purpose of this government
to build on Labour's proud record as the party, the true party of political reform. Thank you very much indeed.